Hello and welcome to Infinity. In looking at child layers and automatic groups, we found that we, it was, it's a lot easier in many ways, but there are some things we need to know about it. So I'm just going to go through some of those now. So first of all, I'm just going to use the selection brush tool here to very quickly select a bit of foreground here, just for illustration. We're not going to spend much time doing this. There you go, that'll do, just roughly. So that I'm then going to go Control C, Control V to copy and paste that to the front there. So I've got just this here. So Control D to get rid of the marching ants. So now I've got the foreground here, so I can call this foreground. Now then, what we're doing with this is, remember we've gone to the Assistant Manager up here and made sure that we said these three here we're adding as a child layer. So what that means then is that when I go to something like curves here, it appears, doesn't appear above, it appears to the right here. And if I click on the triangle, you can see that it's actually part of this and it's like a group uh, in that this curves are only applied with to this pixel layer here. And so I can turn this up and down. I'm just brightening the foreground. So now then, if I want to add another one here, another adjustment, just the foreground, you might think that I could go along here and say go to Vibrance and click on that, but now it's appeared above, which is a little bit annoying because I'd like it to be down here, but there's something you need to remember. So let's delete that, do that again, and that is rather than just having the curves layer selected, I've got to go up to the top layer here, the foreground. Now then, when I put in Adjustments and Vibrance, it appears here. And it does the curves first and then the Vibrance. So it goes from the bottom up, same as it would have done above. And so I can just turn up the saturation, say, and that's just applied to the foreground. Now then, something else you need to be watch out for, so is that if I just take that and just put that above there, just drag it up so I got that horizontal blue bar all the way across. If I'm up here, for example, and I want to put another layer in here, if I say go to the exposure, look what's happened here. It's also put it as a child layer here, but as a child layer to the vibrance, which kind of doesn't make sense. So if I want to put that up there, I need to go up to here. So that's above there. So what I need to do is if I just go to that one there and just stop that one there. So if I want to put exposure above here, what I have to do here is to not have this layer selected. And the way to do that is to go to select and deselect layers there or control shift D. Now nothing is selected and when nothing is selected here, when no layer is selected, it will always put the layer at the top. So I go to here and they say exposure. No, it's up there. So we need to remember those things. The key things is if you want to put something in as an automatic child layer, then you have to have the layer selected here. And if you've got a layer here selected and you want to put something above, then you need to go to select and deselect layers. Or if I go here, Let's delete that exposure again. And if I just go, well, I know what's going to happen anyway. So I go to exposure here and I'll just drag it up to the top until I get that horizontal blue bar all the way across there. So there you go. Those are just a couple of things to watch out for. There are some more things we need to be careful about when doing this. And this is one reason why some people prefer just to have the layers up here, in which case you go to the system manager and change these here to add adjustment as new layer and the same with mask and filter. But the default is to have it as a child. And that's how the program comes set up and you will see lots of videos with it. So you do need to understand what's happening when that is done. And when you're using it, watch out. The key thing to remember is watch out for where the layer is going as opposed to where you thought it was going. And if it's in the wrong place, 
just drag it to somewhere else. So for example if I wanted to put these in here I grab the, the vibrance layer here I go to the square here and I drag this down and if I want to go it to put it uh, above the curves I go into the box here on the foreground so I got the vertical blue bar because it will always go beneath that one there. So if I and if I did the exposure one and I dragged it down to the curves, it's going to go beneath that one there. Not as a child because it's already in the child position. Anyway, that's it. Enough for now, and thank you very much for watching.